as the 2017 celebrated 100 year old Finland, 2018 will celebrate 150 year old Soini. So the job is to make this place look interesting to you. Now, well, Soini does look rather like very, very small headed man trying to dance. I'm currently located here and I thought um, I'm gonna take this hiking path which goes right behind you there. It's a uh, part of European long distance path number E6. All the way up here, Soini town center and furthermore there up in here to this lean to and here and finish it in there in a couple of days time. All these maps and brochures can be found from Soini Public Library or in Soini Town Hall number two. Or was it one? I can't remember because obviously Soini has two town halls rather than one. Part of this European long distance hiking route is really popular with the mountain bikers and you can see it rather wide. Here in Soini we have in fact hills. Now, highest points of Soini are also the highest points of South Ostapotnia. And we thought, let's exploit that somehow. And we started building these windmills to create electricity. We do need some electricity. As the local government of Soini was found, founded in 1868, and indeed 1867 and 68 were the great years of famine in Finland, over 260 people in Soini died of starvation. We were very resourceful on finding food. In nature we ate all sorts of plants and we even added some bark from the pine tree into our flower and made a bread out of it. So with the love of There was the Arpainen Batikka, which comes the same route every autumn. Some 200, 250 people come here in one day and travel this path. But there's that sort of event if you are interested in. Every autumn, check out. There are quite many berries around. Well, these blueberries are already gone a bit sour. But these lingonberries are beginning to be quite ripe. Indeed, in Fitzoyne there are found places called King's River, King's Pit, King's Swamp, King's Path and of course the King's Park. It's found in uh, local folklore at least that uh, in the 1500s the Swedish king called Gustav Vasa came here to hunt and to fish and so places were called kingly names. It's just the folklore, but they uh, are nice tales. Behind me there, you can see there's Matosuo. This is one of the best bits in Soin. This here then is Kaihiharju fireplace. Really nice place to visit. You can get pretty close to it by a car, even a bathroom there. Looks rather nice in the clouds and all. The day number two. Some interesting places in Soini town center. Well, there's, well, there's a couple of wooden bears in a roundabout, and there's a Finland's only measly woman. But it's time to attack this king's path. Pretty shortly after the whole world has started to make wooden boats. The demand for the tar was increasing rapidly. So, in Soini area alone there are, as near as makes no difference, 500 old tar pits such as this. King's Path here follows the King's River, which was one of the major routes for the tar to ship out. Now in Soini town center there are, is even a statue celebrating this tar business. And indeed, Soini at some point of history was called King's River's village. That's how important this water route was. 
Oh, this is what it's all about. Some old lumberjack or something. Now look at this place for a lean to. King's Reverse runs there. Damn. Now, viewers, as you can probably hear, King River is gaining speed and from this point starts Paddle Star route. You can check additional information and the water levels and all that sort of thing on the internet if you want to enjoy it. There's old school, at least it used to have rooms available for rent if you are planning on coming here indeed to paddle or into hike. Check out information about that school area there and this paddle route from the interwebs. Good morning then. This is King's Park. This is quite easily accessible. There's seven kilometer hiking route here and this parking lot is right next to the small cabins which you can rent if you are interested in coming here and easily access to the King's Park there. Quite a ma many of these little swampy areas here. There has been some signs of industrial forest usage, obviously, but fairly little. So this King's Park is really, really pleasant surprise, but I do recommend you come here to hike. And overall, Soini, happy 150th birthday.